Who doesn't love a beagle like Farley, who is adorable, curious, and shy? Lana is smart, energetic, and playful. Coco is independent, strong, but likes to chill. We know a place you can have fun with your dogs. Check out Sweet Kitties and Dog Alley, all on Pick Your Next Pet at the ACAPL. Mr. Farley is new to our pack here at the ACAPL. He just came in this week. We haven't heard anything from anybody about anyone who could be his owner, but he is just a doll. You guys, you'll be able to tell by the video, I'm obsessed with him. He's one of those dogs that it's really hard when I get him out. I just want to snuggle him the whole time, but I know that he wants to run around and sniff and go potty, so I let him, but it's really hard. Um, I do say that he is a shy dog because he gets a little bit nervous when all the big dogs bark right at him when he's walking through the kennels. He does a little tail tuck thing and he gets a little, you know, he gets a little bit shy. Um, so maybe under socialized, but he is still so young. You guys, he's probably only maybe nine months old. Um, his teeth are the adult teeth, so that means he's over six months, but they're pearly white and I don't even think they're all the way in yet so he is just a youngin so so sweet I think he would do well in pretty much any home I love that he's got some of the personality traits of your typical hound type dogs he does love to sniff he does like to pee on stuff it's not not as bad as you might be thinking but you know he's got that stuff going on but he's super personable loves to be around you he'll chase you around a little bit he kind of plays fetch he doesn't quite bring it back but he's got the chase part down so I just, I adore him. I think he would do well in pretty much any home. I could see him in one with like younger kids that he'll kind of grow up with. I don't see him becoming a super big dog. I think he's gonna stay a nice medium size. Uh, maybe not even get too much bigger uh, than he is right now. So he is not fixed yet, but he is up to date on all his vaccines. So he could go home as a foster to adopt, like starting tomorrow, you guys. Um, he's a doll. Which is Saturday the 23rd. <laughs> yes, that would be this coming Saturday the 23rd. He is awesome and I hope somebody, as much as I love him and want him to stay, I hope somebody scoops him up fast. He's got floppy Come ears here. too. Come here. Go, so he'd probably be fine with other dogs, right? Especially if he gets to know them. Right. Uh, he gets a little bit shy when they bark at him, but I think that... But he lived with them and, you know... Yeah. That, once we do that dog meet and greet that we always require. <laughs> what do you think, Farley? Could you have a fur brother or sibling? And I even could see, see him being good with cats. He really is, for a puppy, he's so mellow, you guys. Like, yeah. he's so Yeah, he's cute. not frantic running around. No, he, like not even, he doesn't even jump. No. He does not even jump on me. So maybe even if you've got like older family members in your home, senior citizens, he's a great option around them too because he's not crazy. He's not a jumper. He's barely a barker. I mean, that's something he might grow into, but for right now, he's great, you guys. He's a good boy. Oh, well, he's kind of posing there. Not a tick. Just a Isn't little. Isn't that kind yeah. of how they pose for like the dog shows and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Let me do. <laughs> Yeah, it's stuck under yeah, there. It's stuck. I'll get it. Come on. Oh, hi. Right here. Go get it. Oh my god. How is tell me that's not the cutest thing you've <laughs> ever seen, you guys. Oh my god. What's this? What's this? Oh, I'm gonna snip no out. says I'm taking uh -huh. over. Beal knows when's out every time. What's it? 
Мы здесь. Это окей, я принимаю. Hey, I'm, I'm, so you said he came in this week. Is is uh, the time lapse that for somebody to claim? So today would be the actual okay. last day of his stray hold, but we haven't heard any calls, any any information about it. So I figured I'd film with him today, get him seen quickly, and hopefully get him adopted. Look at her face. Baby. <laughs> Your baby. <laughs> you know, his head's almost as big as yours. Maybe bigger. <laughs> there you go. There you go. He's a personable guy. Like, he just wants to be your buddy, right? Yeah. Like, wherever you go, he'll go, Oh, why are you crying? <laughs> why would somebody not make an inquiry about this dog? I don't get it. Whoever lost him is really missing out. What are you eating? Grass. Oh. Uh, Why are you so sniffing? He's not even eating. Oh. He's just sniffing. Oh, he's, he's using he's, his tongue a little bit. I see. Okay. He's licking. Moving his stuff out of the way. Trying to get better so scent of everything. Yeah. What are you looking at? Who's out there? What's that? Ah, look what I got. Look what I got. Ah, sit. Nah, uh, uh sit. Shake. Do you know shake? No, you don't. Do you know lay down? So our girl Lana has been with us for a little while. She was a frequent flyer, which is what we call <laughs> a dog that gets loose very often, gets brought into the shelter as a stray and then returned to the owner. Uh, so she was a frequent flyer with us for a little bit and eventually, you know, we talked to the owner and they said, yeah, I just, I really don't have the time for her. She keeps getting loose. I'm not the best home for her, all that. And we had the space at the time. So we went ahead and took her in. Um, and she was a lot to handle at first, let me tell you. So her, she is what we call a dog reactive dog. So when she sees other dogs or people even walking in front of her kennel, she kind of loses her mind a little bit, goes crazy, barks, maybe looks a little bit scary to some people. Um, but as you can see from this video, and Bob can attest to She's it. She's anything but scary. She's <laughs> really not, I mean, you get her out on a leash or out to play, she is just an absolute sweetheart and even that like crazy side doesn't come out all that much no. i mean she's very a big friendly. dog and she's got energy but like bob said she's actually very friendly she's excited to meet new people she's not just tolerant she's excited about it oh okay <laughs> um as far as other dogs go when she sees them from a distance <clears throat> barking freaking out that can't control her emotions once she gets up close She's very excited, she really wants to smell them, but then she is surprisingly very gentle with them. So we actually were able to have her make friends with one of our younger dogs here. And when they played together, I mean, like Lana didn't even play bite. Like she had her mouth open and was doing that like fake stuff, but I mean nothing. I mean, she was so good. I was so impressed. So she is one that would definitely, if you have another dog in the home, she would probably prefer it to be a little bit smaller than her. Um, and it has to be good at meeting other dogs, if you all know what I mean. Um, so keep calm her demeanor, let her sniff, let her do what she needs to do. And then she's an awesome playmate. But when you're out on walks, she's gonna freak out a little bit when she sees other dogs, but that's okay. We allow big emotions in this building. <laughs> so, um, other than that, if you have no other dogs, great, all the better. I think she loves humans and would love to be in your home. I'm gonna guess, guess maybe no kitties I could see her getting pretty excited about cats but that's even a maybe I'd be willing to try it um, I kids? Need, 
she'd be fine with kids. But I think she'd as be long okay as they don't mind kids. getting knocked over. Maybe. Right, maybe a little bit older, just so she doesn't tackle them when she gets excited. But she's just a completely different dog away from the shelter, away from the kennel. I mean, if you look at her right now, she is literally just laying in the shade, being an absolute sweetheart. So for her age, especially, she's younger. I would say maybe only a year and a half. Most German Shepherds are. They're, they're up there at craziness level, and she's a really good girl. So she may not present well in her kennel, but if you come and meet her, you will see that she is super sweet. Out of way. Oh, I didn't know you didn't go out of way. That's okay. You good girl. Ready? Good girl! Bring it back. <laughs> Play time! Girl. <laughs> oh, that hurt. <laughs> you hit me with your head. Come here. Show them your pretty face. Come here. No, you're supposed to be up here. Man. Look at that beautiful set. Good girl. She. Any treat stock for you? I'm so sorry. Bad, bad Ashley, bad shelter worker. How dare you not have treats on you? How dare you? Right, come on. Oh yeah! <laughs> Good girl. Okay, yeah. Okay, back up. Good girl. I could see her doing some agility courses. Yeah. She's really smart. I don't even have a treat in my hand. She's just listening because she wants to, you know? Mm-hmm. You tired? <clears throat> baby. Big baby. He's a big baby, huh? here is on the little bit older side than the other two dogs we've seen today. He is about three years old. So he's out of the puppy phase. Uh, I still think he can be trained. Uh, he definitely knows sit and shake pretty well. Um, he's also a little bit demanding about, okay, I did it, now give me what I want, which in this case was a tennis ball. In other cases, I'm sure it would be treats. He is a good little eater. Um, he is a little bit on the underweight side. He came to us thin and he also does have Lyme disease which I don't know if we've talked about it on here before, but you can do a quick Google and learn all about it. Um, it's not fatal by any means. It does not shorten their lifespan. All it does is weaken their immune system a little bit. So when we discover that a dog has Lyme disease, we do a 30 day treatment of doxycycline, which is an antibiotic, just to clear out any infection that may be in their system. 
and then from there you just monitor and treat symptoms so sometimes you'll notice especially as they get a little bit older um, some joint stiffness and joint pain and weight loss so those are the two things that we most commonly will notice and see and know to test them if they haven't been tested already um, so in his case he's a little bit on the thin side so we're gonna up his feeding a little bit the longer he's here put some healthy weight on him and then he'll be good to go. So if he were to go to a home, that's the same recommendation I would make. He is on a hip and joint supplement. I would recommend keeping him on one, whatever you and your veterinarian determine is the best. So Coco here is kind of a, he's a unique dog in my opinion because he's very independent. Like we put him out in our biggest play yard out in the back. He has access to like sniff and say hi to a bunch of other dogs and he doesn't. He don't care about them. He doesn't want anything to do with them. He minds his own business all day. He lays out in the sun. He chews on balls, apparently. He just does whatever he wants, right? But when you get him out on a leash and you try to introduce him to another dog, he doesn't want it. He just simply doesn't want it. He kind of barks, goes crazy, pulls away, jumps all over him. Just, he's not good at meeting other dogs. So I definitely think he should be the only dog in a home with the premise of like, maybe someday he'd be okay around other dogs but for right now he just wants his space the good thing about that is in his case he's never going to be the aggressor he's not going to be the one that's freaking out just because someone is walking a dog across the street or something like that he's fine as long as he's with you and he's on his walk and he's sniffing which he's happy to do he's not going to go and bug another dog um i'm pretty comfortable with him around kids i would say maybe just a little bit bigger ones because he is a bigger dog and i'm hoping he'll gain some weight and get a little bit bigger um so i'd like to see him with maybe like 10 and up kids i don't think he'd love being around crazy little kids he doesn't have puppy energy he's very chill um he can pull on the leash he's a little bit strong but if you just kind of try to match his pace, which is just like a fast walk for me, and I have short legs, so I always remember like, what is a fast walk for me is a normal walk for most other people, so it's not too bad. Um, but if you just kind of keep pace with him, let him sniff when he wants to, do his thing, he's pretty good, he rides well in a car. I mean, he's got a few volunteers here that really love him. He's just kind of, he's tired of being here, I think. He's, you know, don't like the other dogs, don't care for everything that's going on around. He just wants his space, he wants to hang out. I could see him doing well like out in the country just with a big either fenced in space or out on a long line every day. He'll be happy as a clam. What cats? I would probably say no cats for him. That's just a guess based on how I've seen him react to some stuff, but it's not a guarantee. I haven't seen anything super negative. I just, he reminds me of the type that would chase cats. <laughs> When you do a meet and greet, do you have the family bring cats if they have them? You, no, I know you say bring do other that. dogs, but... We do dog meet and greets, but we do not do cat meet and greets. So typically, because we don't cat test here at the shelter anymore, which is where we used to literally just take our dogs and walk them in the cat room or buy a cat in surgery or anything like that. Uh, we don't do that anymore because it's not fair to the cats. They don't have anywhere to run away and hide. So we tend to base it on if they have a previous owner that can testify whether they good or aren't good, we, we trust that, we believe that. Um, if they go to a foster home for any period of time and they get exposed to cats there, you know, we can hear them out and believe them what they say. We can also base it on how the dog behaves out in a play yard or out on a walk around little creatures. So if they see a squirrel and they freak out, a bunny and they freak out, we're gonna go ahead and assume they're probably no cats. It's really hard though. I mean, there are plenty of dogs out there that live with cats, but then hate squirrels and bunnies. So it's always hard to tell. We just always give the adopters our best recommendations for how to introduce a dog to a cat, which I always say to let the cat have places that they can run away, basement, upstairs space. Um, if they have cat trees or anything like that or elevated spaces that they can get up and away from the dogs, usually then let the cat choose when they want to approach the dog and make friends. But we certainly do have a few dogs here that we've seen freak out when they see cats in our catio or back in our surgery area. Yeah, they, we can just tell, like it's a no-go. Him, he's like a maybe. I'm gonna guess no on him, but it's a maybe. Other dogs we've seen for sure, like, oh no. <laughs> Some dogs are just indifferent to cats. Yes. And they don't wanna uh, play with them, and they just look over and right. see, oh, it's a cat, and then yeah. I'm gonna go over here instead. Yep, we definitely have a few of those too. So that's why it's super duper important that you listen to us kennel staff when you're looking for a dog 
you might have in mind who you think you want, who's gonna fit in your family, but we know them best. So hear us out, let us help pick you a good match. <laughs> no hustle. <laughs> How oh, unusual, a dog that likes to sniff. Aware of mm -hmm. all the different noises around him, everything is going Yeah, oh, what's he got? Is that a, has he got a ball? Come here. Or an apple or something. It's a ball. <laughs> it's a little ball. Oh, now that you went potty, you want to play? Look, I have one of you. Actually, today we're going to talk about the Canine Carnival, and this is yes. the uh, latest reincarnation of the Boo Wow Wow. Yeah. So, tell us about first the date. It's <laughs> the, the September 30th, Saturday, and October 1st. So that's yes. that's coming up. Especially, Two days. All right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's 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 something. New. That's the biggest change. I mean, that's the biggest change, right? In previous years, it's only been one day. This year, it's two days. One thing I kind of think about with, with this sort of thing is. A lot of what we do here is for you to find a new dog, but this event is for people to have fun with the dog they have, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. So I personally would love to see a ton of APL alumni there. Mm -hmm. If your dog is dog friendly and you adopted them from here, I don't care how long ago, even if I wasn't working here, even 12 years ago, bring them. I want to see them. Put a cute costume on if they'll allow you to do it. <laughs> so what is, they, they dress up for like Halloween. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and you... sometimes the owners and the dog. Yes, yeah, so you can do a group costume with your whole family and your dog. You can just dress your dog up. I know they're going to have um, costume contests mm -hmm. for both days. Um, there's going to be all kinds of cool stuff. So if you came last year, you know we had it at Kent State University and there were stations set up that you could walk with your dog. We handed out a lot of stuff. Other vendors were there that were selling stuff and giving stuff away. Um, so I think it's going to be similar to that this year, but definitely new stuff so if you came last year you'll still want to come this year because it's going to be all new stuff new vendors and a new location which is brant's apple orchard if you're from northeast ohio or specifically Asheville county you'll know what i'm talking yeah. about it is a great place to visit in the fall and late summer delicious apples delicious apple cider and donuts um honey crisp the honey crisp yeah. is so good <laughs> so we are so happy that to be partnering with them and using their property this year which is just going to be awesome beautiful scenic so people can come check out the boo wow area check out all our stuff and then grab a quick treat or apples before they leave i think it's going to be really really fun and it's 
almost all day, both days, I think like 10 to 6 or 12 to 6, somewhere around there. And I don't know is, if we have our exact hours it, even listed. Uh, I, I, well, well, I'll look it up, see what's okay. fine. Uh, but this, this, so this is like a trick or treat where you go from station to station. You can be dressed, you don't have to, but you can be dressed up. Your dog can be dressed up. And you go to these various locations mm -hmm. and they give you a, a dog treats mm -hmm. or a, a new bowl or mm -hmm. a frisbee or mm -hmm. something like that. We've had, uh, in the past, we had a photo station, which yes. was awesome. I that got, was very popular. I got <laughs> the cutest picture with Bean. It was mm -hmm. so adorable. So we got the nice photo station set up. We got face painting even for the kids. If maybe you didn't wear a costume, get some mm -hmm. quick tiger mm -hmm. stripes on your face. There you go. So we're gonna have a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, I know one issue that we've already talked about though is parking. So definitely if you're coming with a family, try to carpool, get as many people in as you can mm -hmm. in one vehicle because their lot is not very big. Even though they've expanded it over the years, I know we're expecting it to yeah. be very, very busy. And that's why tickets are on sale ahead of time too. So oh. you can guarantee and reserve your spot with everything. How do you do that? Uh, you can go on our website okay, and ACAPL. find the link, mm -hmm. yeah. and you look at the little Boo Wow tab, and there's um, three different registration forms. There's a visit, like a guest, like if you want to come and register. There's vendor forms and sponsor forms. Okay. All available. Okay, so that is the 30th and the first, and it's. Mm -hmm. I know that one time things changed but one time this was the biggest fundraiser for the year for the APL. I believe I, this year it, it is. That's our goal for it to be anyways. We're hoping to make a good amount of money on it. You know did, did you guys approach brands or did they approach you or did you get in an auto accident with them? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we approached them if I remember correctly but they were super excited about it too. It's going to be a blast. Well they that's often a place that you take dogs for walks. Oh, absolutely. And, it's, and it's got all these apple trees, too. Mm -hmm. so it's pretty. And there actually are, a lot of people don't know this, there are trails in yes, the back of yes. France. I've uh, done a couple of our... I have, too. I've done a couple of our group walks back there. And they're pretty well maintained. Uh, they're marked on each side, so you know you're still kind of going in the right direction. So, yeah, their trails are awesome, too, which is fun, because even if, like, Brant's is really busy, usually their trails mm -hmm. aren't. So I always make a trip out there when I have my dog with me. About 6 o'clock in the evening, your dog's going to be home. Like yes, that. exactly. You bring your dog to Boo Wow, they are going to be pooped. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. be Macy, but I say Massey because it's spelled M-A-S-S-E-Y. Don't ask me where he got the name. I, I don't say it's know. Massey. Massey. Raymond Massey, the actor, was spelled that way. Could be that. So, <laughs> I will say that Massey boy here, I like him a lot because he reminds me of a cat we had a few months back. His name was Fidel Castro. No, I remember that. I loved that cat so much. He was so shy at first and then became so crazy and playful and sweet and he looks so much like him like they could be brothers which who knows maybe they are or distant brothers but he is just super cute playful he's on the younger side so if you're looking for a kitten but that is still super lovey-dovey he is and playful uh He's the one and he likes other cats. He likes to be around them and hear them meow and all that stuff. So you can definitely put him into a home where there are already other cats. Uh, right now he can hear Miss Kiko up here playing with her stuff and, or his stuff and he loves hearing it. So I just think he's kind of a kitten but not like a baby kitten and I think he'll fit into pretty much any home. I have no concerns putting him with kids, dogs, other cats, whatever. And the cat above him says, hey, yeah. look at me, look at me, I'm here, I'm here. Yes, we have two cuties, one right after the other, huh? Come on, you want to say hi? Come here. Here we go. Here's the little guy. He's so light and little. <laughs> Here we go. 
so this, this is the guy that was above that we were just saying. Yes, so this little man is Kiko, and I guess he is quite an attention hog. He was very jealous that we were down there talking to Massey and not him. So he was putting his little paws through the kennel door and wanting me to say hi, so here I am saying hi. And he appears, appears to be a very big sweetheart. Um, I am partial to male cats. I am also kind of partial to orange cats. They are hilarious, and if you're on the internet at all, uh, you know that there's a joke going around that all orange cats share one brain cell. Uh, Kiko hasn't had his turn yet, his whole life, I don't think. He's just a silly little guy. So, if you want to bring a silly little guy into your home, same as Massey, I think he could be with kids, cats, dogs. He could probably be with barn cat, uh, like barn animals too. Even though he'll be an inside cat, maybe you have a goat in your home. I don't know. He could live with a goat. So, no matter what kind of home you got, I think he'd be a great fit if you're wanting to bring, again, a, a younger cat that's not a kitten. And apparently, he's a mess maker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He wouldn't mind jumping down there and getting no, that. No, he would like to get down right, right now, but I'm not going to let him. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> Easy life. 